guys, it's Jessica from deliciousobsessions.com and today I'm going to show you how to make tostones. Tostones are actually just fried plantain slices. They're super easy to make and really, really delicious. Uh, these are actually um, way more ripe than I normally like them. You can see they're already yellow and getting a little bit brown. I normally like them whenever they're really, really green and I make tostones out of them at that time. I like them when they're not quite as starchy as they are when they get super ripe, but I saw these sitting on my counter last night and realized that they are getting way too ripe, so I need to do something with them. So I figured I would shoot a quick video and show you how to make them. So the first thing you're going to do is need to peel it. Now peeling the plantains is a little tricky sometimes, so I would love to know how you guys peel them. What I do is I cut off the end part, and these are actually going to have a few bad places in them it looks like. Um, and then I just go through, you can see that it kind of peels away like that and there's this brownish layer on the inside. So I just take a knife and kind of score down the middle of that section and then sometimes I'll do it kind of around the back too. And it's okay if you cut into the meat a little bit. So I'm going to do a couple little slices there. And then you just kind of work on peeling it off. So you can sometimes get your thumbs under there and peel the skin off like that. There's going to be some brown places on these uh, from the skin because they are so super ripe. So you're just going to do that. Just slowly peel them off. I'd love to know if there's a simpler way to do this because it is a little bit time consuming so maybe someone knows a trick that I don't know. So leave me a comment down below if you guys have a super fast trick for peeling plantains. So I'm just going to keep working that off. You'll see that the skin looks very, very similar to a banana uh, with the fibers and everything. It's just, uh, it's a lot tougher than a banana is. So when I get most of the skin off, you'll see some areas right here um, where you still have some of the fibrous parts remaining. Um, so what I do is I typically just go through and use my knife and kind of clean up those areas just a little bit. So just barely getting underneath them. You don't want to take away a lot of the meat, but you do want to get the rest of that skin off because that skin is really, really tough. And so you see we have this beautiful peeled plantain now. Um, and what I like to do is just cut it in slices about a quarter of an inch. You could even do a half an inch thick if you wanted. And I always just cut them at an angle. I just like how they look. And I'm just going to toss them in the plate that I have over here real quick. And I'm going to do the same thing with the remaining three plantains. And then I'm going to show you how to start frying them. Okay, now that we have all of our plantains um, peeled and sliced, we're getting ready to cook them. So you can see I've already started a little batch over here. But what we're going to do is just take our plantains and put them in a frying pan with some hot oil. I'm using coconut oil today and I had heated that over medium heat and then I had to turn it down to kind of medium low as the pan heated up. So depending on your stove, medium to medium low, you might have to go a little bit higher um, if your stove doesn't get as hot as mine. So we're just going to place the sliced plantains down in the oil very carefully so that you don't spot yourself with the hot oil. So you're just going to add all of these into the frying pan. Give them enough room to cook. You don't want to overcrowd the pan here. So I'm just going to place all of these in the hot oil like so. And then we're going to let those cook for probably two to three minutes, maybe four minutes on each side, depending on how hot your oil is. And then we're going to flip them and let them cook for another two to three minutes um, until the outside is getting a little bit brown. You don't want it to be super brown. And then we take them out and smash them. Okay, so we've been cooking the plantains on the first side when we put them in the oil. These actually cooked a lot faster because my oil was already hot. So they only cooked for about a minute to a minute and a half on each side and then I'm going to go ahead and flip them. And you can see that they're starting to get slightly golden brown on the outside. So we're going to flip them again and let them cook for another, you know, one to two minutes depending on how hot your oil is. You may need to let them go a little bit longer. You want the outsides to be just slightly golden brown. So if you can see this, it's just a little bit yellow with a little tinge of brown on it. So we're going to let it cook for a minute or so on the other side and then we're going to take them out and smash them. Okay, these have been frying for about another minute on the other side. We're going to go ahead and take them out and put them on our plate that we have here. And this is where we're going to smash them down. 
Now I want to make a note, if you don't feel like taking them out of the frying pan and smashing them, you don't have to. This is traditionally how they're made. And sometimes I skip the, the smashing part if I've got a lot to do or if I'm in a hurry. They taste great even if they're not smashed. But if you do want to be authentic, you can take the bottom of a um, either a little bowl or a cup or something. You're just going to press down on your partially cooked plantains until they kind of smash out just a little bit. And so you can see that they're just slightly smashed, a little bit flatter than they were. And then you're just going to return them to the heat. Like that. And then you're going to let them cook for another probably a minute on each side, maybe a little bit longer until the outsides are really nice and golden brown. Okay, these have been cooking for about a minute on each side. I've already flipped them, so this is cooking on the second side. So probably two minutes total. Uh, just go by what you see. These are a beautiful golden brown color. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove them from the heat. So I'm gonna place them over here on my paper towel uh, lined plate here. And while they're still warm, and the oil is still on the outside, we want to go ahead and give them a generous sprinkle of sea salt. So I like to just sprinkle over some salt while they're still hot, that way that the, the salt adheres to the outsides of the plantains. And you're just going to repeat this process for the rest of the plantains that you have. Okay, our last batch of plantains are finishing frying right now, so we're going to go ahead and remove those from the hot oil, place them on our plate here. And then I'm going to give them another quick little sprinkle of sea salt over the top while they're still warm. And then we are done and ready to eat. So you can see we have this beautiful plate of golden plantains or tostones. And they are absolutely delicious. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that plantains are very high in carbs and starch. So if you are watching your carb intake at all, you want to make sure that you use portion control when eating these. They are super addicting, so it's very easy to sit down and want to eat like an entire plate of them. So what I do, because I am eating more carbohydrates now than I have in the past, but I still don't want to go overboard. So what I do when I make a big batch like this is I let them cool, I spread them out on a cookie sheet, and I stick them in the freezer. Once they're frozen, I dump them all into a plastic bag, a Ziploc bag, and then I just take out a little handful whenever I want to add some extra starch into my diet. So you would just take them out of the freezer, place them on a cookie sheet and reheat them in the oven, or you could even refry them if you wanted. Uh, they are going to crisp up a lot more, so they're not gonna be as soft in the middle as they are when they're fresh out of the oil like this. They turn more into like plantain chips, kind of a thick plantain chip, but they are still delicious. So that wraps up my tutorial on how to make tostones or fried plantains. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we've got lots more videos coming your way. And then also, I would love to hear how you make your tostones or your fried plantains. If you have a way that you do it differently or some tips and tricks that you want to offer to me and the, the readers here at Delicious Obsessions, leave me a comment down below and let me know how you do it. That is it for today. I'll talk to you guys soon.